All right, I'm sat here with Chris the Wolf Thompson ahead of his fight in Russia. It's happening on the 7th of March. Evgeny Romanov as well from Russia. Um, phenomenal boxer, 17 and 0. Big fight, Chris. Yeah, it's a big fight uh, in Russia. Excited to fight abroad again. Uh, also excited to fight a tough opponent, you know, a, a Russian. Excited to fight a Russian specifically. And uh, just show that they also men, two hands, two eyes. They bleed just like us. Exactly the same uh, criteria, you know. If you want to fight in the bigger weight divisions, heavyweight, even cruiserweight, uh, that part of the world, the central block is sort of where the best guys are competing. The fact that you're there now and you got the call, uh, were you excited to get that experience? Yeah, of course. You know, uh, it's always nice to travel for sports. It's always nice to fight. You know, we, I'm in the name of this game to to fight the best. You know, and only to fight the best and to put myself in tough situations. You know, so uh, the fight with him again when it came around. You know, it's a, it's a tough fight. He's 15 and he's 17 and 0, 15 knockouts. He's knocked out some really big names. He knocked out Deontay Wilder in the amateurs. Uh, he's beat Kudrasov. He's beat very big names. You know, so to have that on my resume will be a good thing and uh, to go there and get that experience for future fights uh, I believe will be good for me and of course the heavyweight division as well I mean eight rounds uh, you're going to be competing with someone that you, you can expect is going to be coming for your head from round one yeah, you know, look, obviously we know, like I said, he's got 15 knockouts and 17 fights. We know he's going to come and try and knock my head off. But, uh, you know, we're prepared for that, we're ready for that. And uh, that's the heavyweight division, you know. Everybody tries to hurt you, everybody tries to knock you out. And uh, it's not so easy when the guys, when you're not staying in front of the guy. So, uh, you know, we're going there to, to beat him. We're going there uh, for the win and uh, to set myself up for future big fights. You take it as a compliment as well, seeing that he has fought Kudra Shaf already as a professional. He's now coming to you after the fact that he's fought someone like that. Does that speak about you? Yeah, look, of course. Uh, I, I think they're just looking at me as an opponent, if I'm honest. Uh, but it is. Uh, it will be nice to fight that guy, put him on my resume, you know, put a legitimate fighter on my resume and, and build on that, you know, build on to the next fight, fight a nice big name in the next fight. And, uh, you know, with... You know, with the guys that he's been in the ring with and with the guys that he's beat, uh, it is a compliment to say that uh, they find me in that class of uh, athletes, you know. What was the decision making when it came to basically taking a fight outside of South Africa? Obviously, your last fight was here. Financial. Uh, it's purely a financial thing, you know. Obviously, boxing in South Africa at the moment is pretty much quite quiet. We haven't, we actually had a tournament on the weekend, but other than that, it's been very quiet. Um, and you know abroad the fight came abroad and uh, we took it you know uh, the financial gain from it is a lot more than what we would get here at home uh, and it's for an eight rounder so you know we're going to go there we're going to take the money we're going to take the fight and uh, we're going to get the W that side I mean it's a relatively short time you got about like a week to go before this fight yeah one week we fight uh, today's Tuesday so we fight next week Tuesday uh, we actually fly out tomorrow and uh, then we go to Yekaterinburg in Russia and we go fight this guy of course, you've got uh, trainer Shannon Schrader in your corner as well. I mean, he's obviously been a great help for your career. Yeah, look, uh, like I said, uh, you know you know me and Shannon, we go way back. Uh, I'm excited to go overseas with him again. It'll be like our, our fourth or fifth time going overseas together. And, uh, you know, we just have a good time. We understand each other. You know, he uh, adds to my game. He adds to my corner big time. And, uh, you know, I'm always willing to go to war with uh, Shannon beside me. You've been to Russia before as well, uh, so you know the conditions, you know that the lack of English as well, so that's, is that a challenge for you? Uh, I guess it is a challenge, but it's also an opportunity, you know. Uh, I have been there, I've been to RCC, the promotion that we're fighting on, I've been to the city that we're staying in, and I've been to the hotel that we're going to be staying in. So, you know, it's all familiar. Uh, I enjoyed myself thoroughly last time. Uh, it's a very good, very professional organization. So uh, excited to be on that show and on the RCC show and privileged to be under their promotion for fight. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm looking excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to go to Russia again uh, it's snowing there again it's hot here in South Africa so it's going to be adjust to the climate but uh, I'm very excited for it any, any rematch clauses or anything like that that's been added to this fight uh, no no rematch clauses uh, that has been added to this fight uh, it's just a once off you know look obviously he's, he's ranked number 49 in the world he's, he's ranked quite far above me so you know that's what we're going there for we're going there to beat him to take his ranking and uh, use that as a advantage into the next fight
For the people at home, you did mention earlier, he's he's literally fought Deontay Wilder as an amateur. He fought Kudryashov. With all those names, I mean, d d psychologically going into this fight, I mean, how do you take it? Are you still very confident that you're going into this one and getting the win? Yeah, you know, of course I'm confident. You know, we try, we don't train to lose, and uh, we don't go into the ring to lose. Uh, I think it's very nice to know that this guy's been in the ring with the best of them and uh, stopped the best of them and uh, he's beat pretty much anybody that is on world level he's beat um, so I'm excited you know obviously the advantage is in his backyard you know we're going there to his backyard to fight him on his promotion in his town so uh, you know I've got to put a number on this guy and uh, I'm excited for that I'm just excited to get out and do what I love you know and with being like the former SA champion, obviously being the heavyweight champion of the country, are you aspiring to fight again in the country or is it just going to be outside from now on? No, look, obviously, definitely, you know, my heart will always be here in South Africa. And uh, if something does present itself in South Africa that comes to us, we will take it. Um, but uh, for now, we are looking to fight abroad. Obviously, just from a personal stance, it's financially, if you fight there abroad, you know, if you look at the dollar this morning, it's 18 to 1. The pound is 21 to 1. So you can't, like, you can't compare it, you know. And at the end of the day, this the only difference between this and amateur boxing is this, we get paid when we fight. And uh, so it's very important to look after yourself for risk and reward purposes in terms of purses. Um, so for now, we are looking to fight abroad. Um, but if something presents itself here in South Africa, you know, I've got a big crowd here that, that love to watch me fight here locally. So I will always entertain that. All right. And of course, um, with this fight being on a Tuesday, do you know how people, how people can watch this fight? Is there, is there a link or... To be honest with you, I had, uh, there will be a link. I'm certain there will be a link. Uh, it is RCC, so they're very big. It will probably be live on uh, YouTube. Yeah, yeah it will probably be live on YouTube. Uh, as soon as I do have that link, I'll send it to SA Boxing Talk, our man Hayden, and uh, he'll put it out there, and uh, my fans back home can watch it. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, I believe it will be on YouTube, and as soon as we get a link, I'll get it out to the media here this side, uh, to SA Boxing Talk, and uh, they'll put it out, and you know, hopefully fans back home get to watch me. Uh, during the day or at night? No, it's going to be at night. Um, I am uh, one of the main fights, so it'll be late at night. Luckily, uh, Russia is currently three hours ahead, so it'll be pretty early SA time, but it'll be late uh, their local time. So for the people watching this video at home, as soon as you knock off work, Chris Thompson's going to be ready to get into that ring and uh, do his business. Yeah, let's go. You know, I'm excited uh, to get in the ring again, bounce back uh, immediately after my fight in uh, December. And, you know, just keep uh, keep the momentum flowing, keep doing what I love. Uh, at the end of the, the day, that's the only reason why we're in this game is because we, we love it. And, uh, you know, I, I like to put myself in difficult situations and challenge myself against tough situations. One, going to Russia, tough situation. Obviously, Obviously, the current situation in Russia, and two, fighting a big Russian guy that likes to knock people out. I see it as an opportunity to better myself, you know, and uh, to just keep moving forward. Well, Chris, South Africa is behind you, and uh, we can't wait for you to go to Russia and do your thing. Obviously, representing the country as always on the road. Anything last you want to say? Any thank yous? Any shout outs? Yeah, you know, just honestly, thank you to everybody who supports me. You know, I've had a I've had a beautiful time in the sport of boxing, and you know, we've accomplished quite a bit in a short period of time. Uh, there is still a lot to accomplish. To everybody that follows me, to all my sponsors, I really appreciate it. Without my sponsors, this wouldn't be possible. Without my supporters, you know, there would be no fights to put on. So to everybody who supports me, all my sponsors that support me, you know, to SA Boxing Talk that makes boxing in South Africa what it is uh, as simple as that without SA Boxing Talk there wouldn't be much uh, broadcasted about boxing so very appreciative to you guys and uh, just appreciative to everybody who supports me you know it's bum time